Hello everyone, welcome to the Houston Zoo's Facebook live feed. We are here today to talk about some Houston native snakes. My name is Chris, I'm a senior keeper here in the herpetology department. Over here to the left is my bestest bud, senior keeper, Eddie Sania. And I've got Mr. Business with me today. This is a Texas rat snake. This is about a 10 year old male. <laughs> Take a good look at him. Hopefully we'll get some questions rolling in pretty soon. Behind us in our native snake exhibit, we have southern copperheads. Got the little guy down there. We pan up. There's another one up here on that tree. And there's another Texas rat snake in the back climbing. Texas rat snakes are excellent climbers. They use their little belly scales to climb up trees, just like you'd use your fingers. Over here on this side, we have two canebrake rattlesnakes. This is not a species you would find in Houston or Harris County, but in surrounding counties. But it is a Texas native. Texas is the number one state in the country for uh, the amount of snakes that we have and the different species. We have over, what is it, 115 different kinds of snakes. In Harris County, we have over 35 different kinds of snakes, and only three are venomous ones. Andy asks, do they have predators? Snakes have all kinds of predators, including other snakes, birds, spiders will eat baby snakes, uh, frogs eat snakes. There's all kinds of predators. When baby snakes are first born, some of them are only a couple inches, some of them are up to about eight or nine inches. So just about anything can eat them, including invasive species like cats. Oh man, uh, how many snakes are at the zoo, Rachel asks. Uh, a lot. <laughs> Next question, Yvonne, how long is the rat snake? Uh, this rat snake, I am about five and a half feet tall. This snake is about five and a half feet long. Mr. Business is a pretty decent sized snake. Uh, usually they get about four to five feet long. The longest ones recorded, I think, are just a smidge over six feet long. This is one of the more common species of snakes that you'll find in Harris County. They're great pest control. You can find them all over the place in neighborhoods, in forests, all kinds of places. And they love to eat rats, hence their name. Cody asks, where do they sleep? Well, our snakes like to sleep right up here in this tree. On that branch, that's their favorite sleeping area. But snakes sleep in all different kinds of places, preferably places where they are safe, where they have something touching all of their sides so that they know a predator can't sneak up behind them. Some of them choose really thin branches to hang off of just in case something else is gonna climb up the tree. It'll shake the tree, and then the snake can slither away. Nicole wants to know, can they swim? Yes. A lot of snakes can swim. Most snakes are extremely good swimmers, including the Texas rat snake. We have a lot of different kinds of water snakes here in Houston. There's four different species that a lot of people confuse for water moccasins or cotton mouths, and they are completely non-venomous snakes. Amanda, what will they eat for lunch? Uh, hopefully not mine. Uh, these guys, we feed them, well, defrosted rats, mice, and chicks. Henley, how fast are rat snakes? Uh, rat snakes can be pretty quick, actually. Um, not many snakes are very quick here in Houston. We have a few that are relatively quick, coach whips, racers, and then probably rat snakes would be close to third place in how quick they are. Wow, there's over 156 species of... Oh, there's 150 snakes total at the Houston Zoo. Thanks, Judith. Jennifer, do they make good pets? Um, that's a tricky question, but some snakes make excellent, uh, excellent pets. Some snakes make absolutely terrible pets. Uh, making sure you get a captive bred animal and not a wild caught animal is very, very important. The size of the animal and the size of the enclosure that you get is very important. You wanna make sure these animals are happy and healthy mentally and physically. So yeah, it depends. Melvin, are they nocturnal? Many, many species of snake are nocturnal. Some are diurnal and some are crepuscular. Um, the ones that we have in this exhibit are primarily nocturnal, but depending on the time of the year and the temperature, 
uh, they will choose to move around at different times of the day. Samantha, how big can they get? So Texas rat snakes max out at six feet, but typically around four or five feet. Copperheads, like these guys right here, they usually max out around two feet long. They can get upwards to three feet, but that is very uncommon. That's about as close as you want to get. And the canebrake rattlesnakes, they can get about four or five feet long, typically. Julie, how often do they need to eat? Well, that depends on the species, on the size of the species, and the time of the year. <clears throat> baby snakes need to eat a little more often because they're growing just like baby people. Um, the older and bigger the snake is, the less they have to eat. So some snakes only eat once a month. Some snakes eat once or twice a week. Walter, how often do they shed? Well, you can kind of listen to the last answer. Depending on the age and the size of the animal, again, is how much they're growing. So younger snakes shed more often, older snakes do not. Do, do snakes dig? Um, some snakes will kind of burrow with their head. Uh, they don't really necessarily dig all that well, but they will drill their head into the softer dirts and leaf litter and stuff. And that's about it. They like to use other burrows that animals make rather than making their own. Nice to see all the questions coming in. Warren, do, do all snakes bite? Technically, all snakes do bite. They have to eat and they have to use their mouths seeing they don't have hands, so they use their face as hands. Um, when I say that all snakes bite, it's not necessarily people that they're biting, it's their food. Snakes are not aggressive animals, they are defensive animals. There's a huge difference there, most people will think that a snake is aggressive because it tried to bite them. But if you think about it, if a six foot eight, 400 pound person picks you up in the middle of the woods and starts shaking you around, you're probably gonna punch them or bite them. Does that make you aggressive or defensive? Melissa, do rat snakes make a sound? Well, yes they do. They make several sounds. They will hiss and when they're really scared, they will actually take their tail and rattle it and shake it against leaves and different stuff to actually sound like a rattle to scare animals away. Jackie, what do I do if I see a snake in my yard? Well, what I would suggest is backing up a little bit to make sure you know what kind of snake it is. If it's non-venomous, we should watch it and see what it does and learn a little bit about how they behave. If it's venomous, just back up and let it do its business. Kelly, how wide can their jaws open? Well, they can unhinge their jaws in two different spots. If you look at a snake's face right here and right there, they can dislocate their jaw. And then right there at the bottom where you have a bone, they don't. So their mouth can open this way and this way very wide. So in this exhibit, we've got copperheads. This is the most common venomous species of snake here in Houston. It's responsible for the most venomous bites in Houston as well. It's a very mild venom in comparison to other venomous snakes. But if you are to get bit by a venomous snake, I suggest you go to the doctors immediately. We've got another question here from Sutton. Do snakes live in groups or alone? Again, that is species dependent. Some snakes will live in little groups, whereas most snakes prefer to be solitary. A little Texas rat snake up there is checking out the camera. Not sure if it's food, what it is, but you can see him flicking his tongue, smelling the air. That's one of their very cool senses where they can pull in particles from the air and run it against something inside their mouth called the Jacobson's organ. That way they can tell whether or not that's a predator, whether it's food or just someone's telephone. Camilla, how many eggs do they lay? Well, some snakes lay eggs, some snakes have live birth. And again, it depends on the species. Some snakes will only have 
three, four, five eggs or babies. Some of them can lay over a hundred. Jessica, do baby snakes stay with their mom in the wild? Some species of snake will stay with their parents for a very short period of time, depending on the time of the year. Uh, primarily, snakes will just either hatch or be born and then disappear off into the wilderness. There's very little maternal, paternal care with snakes. There's a nosy rat snake up there. Lena. How well can they see in the day versus the night? Man, a lot of these questions are very species dependent. Um, your diurnal snakes, the ones that are awake during the day, see very well during the day and not as well at night. Whereas your nocturnal snakes, it's the opposite. They see very well at night and not so well during the day. Uh, snakes use a lot of different senses other than just their eyesight. They feel things very well, so vibrations coming close to them. They can feel that and kind of sense and figure out what, how big something is, how small something is, whether it's dangerous, whether it's not. Mentioned the Jacobson's organ earlier. Uh, they don't hear, so they don't have that for them, but their eyesight is relatively well, uh, pretty good depending on the species. Julie, how long does it take a rat snake to digest their food? That depends on the temperature that they are found in. So if it's during the winter and they've eaten, it's gonna take a very, very long time because the weather is cool. If it's during the summer, where here in Houston, it's 312 degrees during the day, they will digest their food very quickly. So it could be anywhere from three, four, five days during the summer up to a couple weeks, maybe three weeks during the cooler months. Marilyn, how do you become a herp keeper? You, me, how do I become a, oh, how did I become a herp keeper? Well, um, I had a very, very long, long love affair with reptiles and amphibians from about eight years old up until now. Um, there was a lot of practical care. I worked for a lot of different places that kept reptiles, went to school for a while, got a biology degree, and now I am working in a zoo. So we've got some rattlesnakes up here. It looks like they're cuddling. They're not really cuddling. They're just hanging out up there because that is the optimal place to hang out because it's nice and warm. That heat light is right above them. So that's one of their basking spots. How many types of snakes are at the zoo? There are about 62 different kinds of snakes here at the zoo. Jude, are any Texas snakes endangered? I am pretty willing to bet that they are. I do not know the species off the top of my head if they are, but based on the amount of species we have and the amount of habitat loss and so on here in Texas, I'd be pretty willing to bet that they are. Rat snakes also up there near the other basking spot figuring out that it could probably get out of the exhibit right now because it's open. Got a couple questions coming in now. Harley. How long do they live? Rat snakes can live about 20 to 30 years on average. This one right here is just about 10 years old. I know someone named Harley. My niece, I wonder if that was her. All right. How can you tell if a snake is venomous? That's a very difficult question. If you do not know what the snake is 100%, you can just kind of treat it as if it is venomous. You want to just walk away from it, leave it alone. It will go away. Snakes do not want to be around people. Um, there are some species that look, I mean, pretty obvious what they are, but try to learn your native snakes as best you can, regardless to where you live. That way you could be safe. Someone wants to know what my favorite thing about my job is. Well, other than working with my bestest bud, Eddie, 
Um, I get to work with reptiles and amphibians every single day. Um, I get to take care of them, watch them do what snakes and lizards and turtles and frogs do. Um, I get to talk to people about these animals, kind of try to make them not so scared of snakes. That's one of my favorite things to do. Snakes are not scary animals. Sarah, how long is their tongue? Well, depends on the size of the animal, but they're not as big as you would think. They're usually only about an inch or so long. Do I have a favorite snake? Um, other than Mr. Business, of course. Um, the African variable bush vipers are some of my favorites. They are very colorful and pretty snakes. You should look them up. Or come to the Houston Zoo once we're open. We have a bunch of them on exhibit. Best of Spud Eddie, do you have anything you want to add? No? Okay. Just checking. Man, there's all kinds of questions coming in. People want to know about their native snakes. This is cool. Lauren, what's the difference between venomous and poisonous? Man, I knew that question was coming. So the best way to explain that, easiest way, is venom is injected, whereas poison is ingested. So think about like a, a needle, a shot. That would be more like your venoms or a mushroom would be a poison. So right now we are looking at a Texas rat snake in front of our native snake exhibit here at the Houston Zoo. Um, this is Mr. Business, 10 year old male Texas rat snake. He's got some buddies in here. Those are canebrake rattlesnakes up there at the top. Over on the other side, in the back, there's another Texas rat snake. That's Mrs. Business. We've got a copperhead here. And down at the bottom, there's another copperhead. So Texas is a great state if you want to see snakes. We have more species and kinds of snake than any other state in the country. That's why Texas is number one. I know a lot of people think it is, but it definitely is because of all the snakes. It's only number two with turtles, but I'll take it. We got questions pouring in. So you can find rat snakes just about anywhere. You can find them in your backyard. You can find them in forests. You can find them sometimes in parking lots. They're all over the place. These guys are pretty general with their habitat choices. Very, very common species. Great to have around. The best pest control nature has ever made. All right. Well, thank you very much for uh, tuning in to the Houston Zoo's Facebook Live. Please don't forget to help us with our emergency zoo fund at HoustonZoo.org. Uh, tune in tomorrow at 11 o'clock to learn more about our super cool animals. And please join us next week for Earth Week at 11 a.m. here on Facebook.